Hello everybody, it's Michael from GetFitOver40.com. Today we're gonna to talk about something, well basically we're gonna talk about how ice can affect body fat in two ways. And uh, this video is mainly gonna focus on the cool sculpting side of it. Uh, now before I get into any of this, I just wanted to say anything I'm about to talk about, you do at your own you know, discretion. Um, you know, I'm not a doctor, uh, there are Obviously some dangers involved in sticking ice on your skin or your body using ice packs. You can get things like frostbite, uh, which can lead to actually skin burns, right? So you're freezing the skin, you can actually burn it and get like a skin burn. Even third degree burns can cause scarring. Those are the possible effects of doing this wrong. So keep that in mind. Uh, but I didn't want to scare you by saying all that. I wanted to talk about cool sculpting and also how ice can be used or cooling the body down can be used to burn fat. Um, cool sculpting is different in that it actually kills the fat cells, okay? So it's designed to put the ice or the cool, um, whatever you're using to cool it, right on the skin. Now cool sculpting itself, the actual cool sculpting is a medical um, practice and it's used instead of doing uh, invasive plastic surgery, they use suction cups it's like a suction cup that pulls the fat area into this cup area and then these plates cool the skin. They're like, I think they go to about down to minus 10, but minus 10 won't freeze the skin or give you frostbite, but getting down to four degrees Celsius, getting that whole area down, so internally to four degrees Celsius will kill the fat cells because fat cells actually freeze um, before water freezes, before skin freezes, before blood cells freeze, all of those all of those types of things. So you can effectively freeze the cell, which will kill the cell. And over time, the fat cell will basically break down and your body will absorb it. It takes about two months for the whole process after you do the cool sculpting um, method, which is in a clinic, right? And it's very expensive. I say very expensive, you know, we're talking a thousand, two thousand dollars to get an area done, right? If it was a small area, it might be a little less. If it's a bigger area, it might be a little bit more. So the cool sculpting is fairly expensive. So, um, you know, where did it come from? It came from cool sculpting. The whole concept came from basically popsicles. They found that, you know, in some situations, kids that were teething on like popsicles, they were getting little divots in their little fatty skin areas. And because some of the, uh, some of the area was getting frozen, right? Or was cooling down and killing those fat cells. And they found that that popsicle was, wasn't, it, it may have sort of given them a little bit of a skin damage initially, but you know, they're babies, they heal up pretty quick. The skin wasn't really getting affected so much, but the fat was, it was dying off. And then, uh, you know, they've, they've also found that ice packs put in certain areas can have the same effect. Now, cool sculpting, the medical procedure or the clinical procedure is a very controlled situation. So I want to keep that in I want you to make sure you're aware of that. When you get cool sculpting done, it's an exact temperature that's designed to work for a very specific amount of time. It works. There's no doubt about it. Cool sculpting in a clinic works. Um, doing it at home, I don't know, right? Does it work? Are there dangers? Yes. Can you do it? There is proof. There's evidence out there that you can do it at home with ice packs. You do have to be careful that you don't get things like frostbite. You do have to be, you know, if you don't get the area cold enough, it's not going to work. So there's a lot of factors involved. But is it possible? Yes, theoretically, it's possible. So. I wanted to try it because um, I have an area, I mean, everybody gets the fat around here. I might try it on, on like my love handle slight like back area. It's not that when I get in contest shape that I have a problem there, but that's like the last area for me to lose it like a lot of people. And when I'm off season, that's where I tend to gain my fat. So it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be bad if I could lose a little bit there in those areas that tend to uh, accumulate the fat a little bit more, right? I don't really have a problem here so much, but I do get a little bit right in here. So I might tackle those areas as well. But the area that I wanted to tackle was right under here. Like people have asked me um, when I compete, why does my face not get super, you know, gaunt looking? Why, you know, when I'm really low fat body fat percentages, why is my face not like that death face that some people get? Because some people walking around at 20% body fat, their faces look really lean and they don't accumulate a lot of fat genetically in their face. Um, you know, and as they get, as they get really lean, their faces will, the fat comes out as well and they just get kind of gone looking. It just happens to some people. I tend to lose the fat in my face kind of last. Um, it holds on there quite a bit and I get some under here so that even at, even if I'm under 10%, I start to get like sort of that little, 
under the chin area fat. That's where it wants to go. I, my face fills in a little bit too. It's just an area that I gain it. I gain it here. I don't gain it in my arms or legs. Uh, not too much in my shoulders and chest, but I do get a little around here. I definitely get it in my face. And the old butt gets some. So <laughs> very common. So I wanted to hit underneath the chin right in this area with my little at home cool sculpting. And so I've got a few things that I'm gonna try. There's these ice packs here that don't get super, super cold. So you can put these right on the skin and they won't give you that frostbite at all. Um, are they gonna be cold enough? I don't know because they seem to warm up pretty quick, this type of an ice pack. I have a larger one that I might use because it might hold its heat, but it's gonna be a little tougher to get that on there. But I might use something like this just because it'll keep its heat a little bit better than the small one. I could also use these ones like around here and I could put these right on the skin. These ice packs like this, they're definitely colder. It's definitely colder to the touch because there's more surface area because these are beads, right? Because they're beads, there's less surface um, area. So there's like little divots. They don't have quite as much of the coldness going right into it. This has more surface area, more contact. So this might work, but I could experience things like frostbite with it. So I've got to be careful. You know, I've got to kind of maybe take it off and on and don't let myself get too cold with this. Another thing you can do is you can put like an insulator between you, right? You can, you can put ice packs in these bags or have some material. So that's probably recommended, you know, use, an, if you're using an ice pack like this, the only problem with these guys is that they don't, they don't contour to the surface. So if it's a flat area, this would work, but if it's a round area, it's not gonna work so much in an area like that. But if you are using like ice in bags and stuff, you might wanna insulate it a bit with some material. Don't go directly on your skin, especially ice in a bag. That's gonna be really, really cold, right? But it will work. Um, you know, to keep them on, you can, you can use things like wrap, so you can wrap it around. Oh, I think I just lost one of the clips. Here, you, can, you can wrap it around, I lost one of these. You can wrap it around to keep the, um, the area in place, the ice in place or the bag in place. And uh, you're generally gonna wanna keep it on for at least a half an hour. You may have to switch out the ice packs because they will warm up. So you wanna keep a more constant cold temperature, again, without it getting super cold. You don't wanna get frostbite or get any skin burns. Uh, again, you're gonna have to do this at your own risk. Um, you know, um, be very careful not to burn your skin. Maybe try it in an area that isn't as important as your face. If you're gonna try it on other areas, maybe try that first. I'm gonna try it here. I'm, I've tried it already once. I did one yesterday. It wasn't too bad. I just had to be careful. I used this one and I just was careful. I sort of put it on, took it off, put it on, took it off. And it felt like it was getting a little painful. I would take it off for a bit and then put it back on. And that seemed to, uh, seemed to help. So that's, that's sort of my um, idea of how to um, do cool sculpting at home. I'm gonna give it a try. And you know, it probably won't have results for a good month to two months because you've got to hit these cells. They die, but it takes a while for them to completely die and for your body to absorb them and get rid of them. So when you actually have the cool sculpting procedure, it's, it's pretty uh, intense and you kill a lot of cells and there's actually um, swelling that occurs when those cells, because those cells are dying off and they're breaking down and you get swelling up to 30 days, you'll actually have swelling. And then after that, all your body, your body's absorbing all those cells, and then you see the, the effects, the actual results of the cool sculpting, and it definitely works. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about in terms of cooling your body down using coldness or temperature, cold temperature to lose, fa lose fat, is the idea of making your body, essentially um, cooling your body down, and there's been a lot of tests done, we have things called brown fat cells and uh, white fat cells. And there's another cell that actually, your white cells can turn into beige um, fat cells, which is more like a brown fat cell. And what the brown fat cells are, we don't really have a lot of them. You have more of them when you're younger. As you get older, you have less. They're not typically in the same areas where you, where you store the fat that's from eating. Um, like when you eat, overeat food, you get white fat cells. And those are just energy cells that you would use fat, you use that fat energy when you need energy for your body because you're active. Brown cells are used mainly to heat your body when it's cold. So if you're shivering, if you're out in the cold, but you have a fair amount of these. And the more you're exposed to the cold on a regular um, basis, 
the more your body doesn't really create these brown fat cells, but it converts the white fat cells into beige fat cells, which can then be used for thermal heating. Okay, so they, they then become almost like a, a dual purpose cell that can be used to heat you when you're cold and be used for exercise energy, right? And so that's, that's a cool thing because now they're essentially kind of like brown fat cells. And so when you place yourself in this cool environment, or if you were to put, um, say yourself in a cold environment for up to two hours a day, keep, and you don't have to do this, you don't have to be in a cold environment all day, but if you do it for like two hours, keep your house really cold, like 60 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever that might be, I think it's about 17 degrees Celsius, you know, don't bundle yourself up, let your body cool down, your body will create, will actually burn a lot more energy, these brown fat cells, and it'll start to convert white cells into beige fat cells, and you can actually, over time, going, you'll go from, say, burning 100 to 150 extra calories in those two hours that you normally wouldn't from, from the energy that your body needs to heat it up, to burning double that, 300 to even more calories in two hours, just because you've converted more of these white cells into, into these beige cells. So, and this is, this is not fiction, this is, this is reality. Another thing you can do, there's two other things you can do to make your body um, essentially create more beige cells and burn fat while you're just sitting there, is you can put an ice pack right on the back of your, like in your trap area here, and your shoulders, like high up on your neck. That's an area that typically, my mic's moving around, that typically has a lot of those brown cells in it. So those brown fat cells. So when you put the ice pack there, it sort of triggers that effect like even quicker. So it's, an, it's a targeted area that you are telling the body it's cold, the body recognizes the cold there. It says, let's burn brown fat cells. Let's start converting white fat cells into beige fat cells. And then your body just becomes this, this machine that burns calories really easily when it's cool. And you're probably also gonna notice that you don't get as cold in cold environments because your body is using its own energy to heat itself up. It's not gonna get so cold. Um, you can also do another thing that I'm, I'm gonna start trying is wake up first thing in the morning, take pretty much ice water. So you take, take you know, find the coldest part of your fridge, put a bottle, 500 ml water bottle in there. Every morning on an empty stomach, you drink that water. Just down it real quick. And you, basically it, it cools your internals your body, again, is, gets triggered into burning these brown cells and beige cells, and it kind of turns it into a little generator for a little while. Not, not all day, obviously, but because your stomach's empty, um, it's got, it cools it down. Your body has to heat it up. It triggers that effect, and you burn calories just by drinking water. And there's nothing wrong with drinking water and getting hydrated, especially first thing in the morning. So why not do these things? So um, basically, let's just sort of summarize. We got the cool sculpting, that's for targeting fat, right, in specific areas. Of course, there's the clinical cool sculpting. If you don't mind spending the money, it works. It's non-invasive. It definitely works. Um, I've seen before and after results. It's not going to get rid of all the fat in an area, but it can definitely help you sculpt those areas to get rid of like problem areas, okay? If you're really heavy, you're going to have to diet. If you just have problem areas that just won't go away, little areas, that aren't overly fat, but are just bothering you because you can't get rid of those last little bit, that's what cool sculpting is for. Okay, so cool sculpting, and then of course this brown cell, this brown fat cell, beige fat cell, um, triggering your body to burn calories, to burn fat for energy to heat itself when you cool it down using either just being in a cold environment or putting ice packs right on the back of your neck, shoulders area, right, right on the traps area and of course the drinking the water first thing in the morning. So I wanted to share that with you. Um, uh, I will be hopefully getting some results or at least having some information about how these ice packs work in terms of doing cool sculpting at home. I'm also gonna be putting like ice packs on my shoulders and stuff every once in a while. You should probably do that about three to four days a week. Uh, drink the, the bottle of water. I'm gonna start doing that in the morning, um, five, like pretty much every morning, why not, right? Why not have a nice drink of water first thing? Nothing wrong with that. So I'll have some updates hopefully down the road once I've tried all this out, but I wanted to share that with you now. All right, thanks for watching another GetFitOver40.com video. Until next time, take care.